to higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. You following me, Ronald? We can st we're establishing an uptrend. All right. So this is a perfect example of an uptrending market. See that? We can relax today. I'm not doing anything advanced. All right. So um, a lot of time, most of the time, we do advanced stuff, and I could do less advanced stuff. Not a problem. Do like a lot of basics. So right here, we've established an uptrending market. Low, high, lower, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. You establish an uptrend. And it's important because you want to establish these uptrends when we start laying in the Fibonacci. Fibonacci typically goes from low to high. It also can go from the higher low to high, the higher higher low to high, the higher higher low to high. And it may not make sense yet, but as we start to see these clusters, that's where it becomes important for us to buy and sell. I'm not saying we're buying and selling right there, but just want to establish the trend. So let's go back to what we were looking at before. All right. So market goes from low to high and retraces. It could be a deep, it could be a shallow retracement. And what we do is we establish data points along the way. So if we take Market low, market high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, like that. What we end up doing is we take the market low to market high and we look for a retracement. What we also do is we take these other points and we draw them also. And we take these other points and we draw them also. And we start to establish the fact that possibly, and we also draw horizontal lines at each of these data points. Swing low, swing high. So we have that. And what we end up doing, guys, and put the shape in there, is we identify an area like this. where everything clusters together. So what I like to do is take my Fibonacci tool and go from low to high. I go from higher low to high, higher, higher low to high. And I establish some overlapping. This overlapping essentially is similar to a floor in a house. If you look at your floor, your floor looks like this. All right, you got the wood beams, got the plywood. All right. And it looks like that. And if we were to just draw a couple of lines here, here, and here, we would establish the fact that you have a floor. Market retraces down to the floor is expected to bounce away from the floor. Okay? So the reason we use Fibonacci is for the fact that we want to identify areas to buy and sell. You want to buy on the floor and you want to short them at the resistance at the ceiling. All right? I can still remember the first tape. I heard back in 1994, a guy named Ken Roberts saying, 
supported.